Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Dan DiBiase, coming at you from my Sayreville, New Jersey bedroom office here on February 27th, 2015. It's Friday night. Really, really excited. Actually, already almost ending February here in 2015. Already, the first two months of this year are past us. So, man, let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're going, right? Now, I got some really, really cool information for you tonight that I really think can help, especially some of the newbies out there in the network marketing, uh, direct sales, multi-level marketing, whatever business building world that you're in. As a matter of fact, this can apply to anything that you're promoting, really, whether it's a, a product or service online, a product or service in the physical world, or like I said, something within the context of you know internet marketing, network marketing, direct sales. So... What I want to talk about tonight is just put it out there, right? Just putting it out there. And this is something that I myself, even when I had success, failed to do for a long time. And it's understandable why I wouldn't just put my information out there and why you wouldn't just want to put your information out there and yourself out there. You want everything to be perfect. You want everything to look awesome and, and, and really jive and look professional, right? You want your websites to really pop and, and your content to be really awesome. And, and you want when people scroll down your Facebook wall, everything to be congruent and go through your blog and go through your emails. But what I found out is that we're in such a heavy, heavy overload of information here in the internet age in 2015 that the majority of people, even if they're extremely focused on what they're doing in life, they just, they're distracted. There's things coming at them from all different angles, email, Facebook, every single kind of place they go and really as a marketer and as a business person, your information, your message is usually only sitting in their mind for a very small portion of time in their day. You know, even if they're looking over your information for like an hour or, or more than that, which is kind of crazy if someone's going to look at information and not take action for that long. But, you know, even if they are, chances are at some point after that time, life's going to get in the way and their normal routine is going to kick in. And what happens is, is we get stuck up on wanting everything to be perfect all the time instead of actually just putting the stuff out there, right? Because again, we want our businesses to be perfect. But here's the thing. This is going to set in heavily with you perfectionists out there. So if you're a perfectionist, you need to really, really look at yourself in the mirror and think about this because this is what I had to go through. You will never be perfect, okay? There's no such thing as perfection. There's no such thing as a perfect circle in this universe. If you break everything down to its finest point, you will find imperfections in everything that you do. And the key to life and the key to business is striving to get better every single day. And the best way that I've found to do that is to just put myself out there. Instead of making sure that everything on my video is dialed in, Everything looks perfect in my website. Everything on my Facebook walls can groom because I'm afraid someone's going to go down and look at every single thing I wrote for the last 24 days. The best thing to do is just to load that information out there. And those people who are attracted to what you're doing are going to gravitate to you. And also, you're going to build momentum with yourself and what you write about, what you blog about, what you post about on Facebook. You know, Facebook's such a fast moving thing, right? That instead of waiting to post something every day, once a day, or twice a day for it to be the perfect post, and then just leaving that up there, it's much more effective in the context of a marketer's perspective to just pepper the internet with your information. Now, will you put a lot of information out there that you know you might change your mind about or you know you might go back and say you know might not have worked or, or just flat out may not have been true because you found out later sure that's the case but we have to be willing to admit that you know we're not right about every single thing right that's the really more human thing to do is to 
admit that we're real people and that sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes we struggle and sometimes we have little successes or we have success here and then you know we're doing it this way the complete opposite way whether it be a day later a year later 10 years later whatever but it's because we're human beings and we're learning and we're all growing together and I will tell you my friends that is the message that people will connect with period Okay, so instead of thinking of every single angle before you write your next blog post or write your next email or put out your next advertisement or put your next post on Facebook, my advice to you is sit down and if you want to do something first, a little preamble, close your eyes and think of a major definite purpose of whatever it is that you're doing whether it be writing an email blog post Facebook post whatever the case may be and allow the universe to give you that okay allow the universe to give you what you want you know everything that I try to do I try to give value and show people the education that I've learned and some of the things about finance industry business our time our culture our society whatever it may be and I try to kind of focus the energy from the universe in order to be able to deliver that information to you, the person watching this video right now. I like to think I get better and better at it as I go along. But the reason why I've had success is because I just do it. At one point I said, you know what, screw this. I'm not going to just, you know, write everything down and think about everything and, you know, wait forever to publish my website because I need every little square and line and dot to be in the right place. Instead, I'm just going to go at it. I'm going to throw myself out there. And that, my friends, is what changed my life and created success for me very fast. And I think you can do the same thing for you. Okay, so whether you're a newbie or whether you've been in this business for some time or you're promoting a product or service that you're just having trouble getting off the ground, hopefully you take this information and you go out there and I see you putting your content out there. Because that is how you will connect with those like-minded people that are out there that are just like you, my friends. So... Once again, keep this short tonight. Thank you for being with me as always. Appreciate you as always. Happy February. Happy March coming to you all. I'll see you in the beginning of March. And thanks for checking in. This is Dan DiBiase, February 27th, Friday night, 2015. Have a safe one, everybody. Peace out.